Good morning, everyone. Turn with me to the book of Habakkuk. And I echo Dale's sentiments. It's been a lovely time, hasn't it? Really rich. Share a brief devotional thought just leading us into this final season of prayer together. Habakkuk was a godly prophet, and we read in chapter 1, verse 1, the burden which the prophet Habakkuk saw, O Lord, how long shall I cry? And you will not hear. Even cry out to you, violence, and you will not save. Why do you show me iniquity and cause me to see trouble? For plundering and violence are before me. There is strife and contention arises. Therefore, the law is powerless, and justice never goes forth. For the wicked surrounding the righteous, therefore perverse judgment proceeds. And so Habakkuk here is crying out to the Lord. He says, Lord, why, why are you indifferent to the, the wickedness of your people? Lord, why aren't you taking action? Why aren't you judging them? And... Um, I think that we can safely say that, as our brother Jack said last night, Habakkuk was suffering in his soul. He was suffering in his soul. And, uh, of course, God works with the prophet. He comes back, he says, um, Habakkuk, I am doing something. Um, I'm going to bring the Babylonians, and I'm, gonna, I'm going to chasten my people. And that caused more perplexity for the prophet, right? He's baffled by it. Lord, how can you, with pure eyes, uh, use a pagan nation like Babylon to chasten your people? They're worse than your people. And, of course, the answer is in chapter 2, the Lord tells Habakkuk, the just shall live by faith. And so um, Habakkuk suffered from tunnel vision, he, he was focusing right on the circumstances of his day, and it was causing his soul to suffer. But as God works with the prophet, uh, he's able to back back and see the full ramifications of God's word, what God is doing. And he's taken from being perplexed in chapter 1 to this wonderful doxology in chapter 3. And um, as I've been thinking about what we've been learning together the last couple of days, I have to, I can identify with Habakkuk. And I think if we're honest, uh, there's a number of us here that could identify with Habakkuk too. Lord, why aren't, why are you indifferent to the complacency of the church? Lord, why, why aren't you judging our carnality? Well, dear beloved, the Lord is working. <laughs> Uh, and I think we suffer from tunnel vision because of the wickedness of our day as well and the carnality. And so it's good for us to back up. Uh, the Lord Jesus is building his church. The gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The Lord Jesus is removing the spots from his bride. And one of these days there will be a trump and a shout and it will be complete. And we'll be in his pres presence and we'll be perfect. And so it's easy for us to uh, suffer from from tunnel vision uh, as well. The, the word here in verse 1, the burden, is masa in the Hebrew, and it means to lift up. And uh, Brother Jack will be closing the conference in two more messages, but he will be looking at a portion in 1 Peter 5, verse 7. And so Peter will be telling us, humble ourselves before the Lord. And then he says this, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Amen? And so what Habakkuk did, things didn't make sense, is he's, he's lifting up the burdens of his soul to the only one uh, that can make sense of it. And he's talking things out with the Lord. And so the Lord would want us also in the church age to cast, up, cast out or lift up to him the burdens of our soul. Talking things out with the Lord, making sense, being drawn deeper into his word to see the vastness and immensity of God's doings. And that will also lead us into a doxology, into praise. Um, so as we come into this final 
session of prayer, I think, especially in a corporate sense like this, it's pretty typical for guys to think through what they're going to pray before they pray. And I think if we want our prayers to get beyond the ceiling, uh, we're going to have to quit talking at God and talk with him. And we're going to have to open up our souls in like Habakkuk, in tears, bear before him. God, this doesn't make sense. And talk it out with the Lord. I think uh, God really loves it when his children come into his presence and uh, treat him like a real person, like uh, someone is listening and, and talking through things. And uh, Hudson Taylor said when the work in China was very um, tenuous and difficult. He said, I, I, I roll my burdens upon the Lord. So that would be my challenge here as we come before the Lord. That's, that's really uh, open our hearts before the Lord. Be genuine, be sincere. Uh, that's not talk at the Lord, that's talk with him. And uh, maybe he too will clear out our tunnel vision and bring us into the deeper, the vastness of who he is. And we also will praise his name. Amen. Amen.